Do we need them? Do we need them? It's something we started a few weeks ago. Uh, we're always talking about animals and insects and that. And um, it's like, you know, if you took an animal out of the world, would, would we have problems? Right. Would it That's make any enough. difference? Yeah, would it make any difference? We That's did jellyfish we... last time, didn't we? Yeah. We the, sorted that out. The woman said we've got to keep them. We do um, need them, because turtles eat them. Yeah. Um, so, I've moved on. Octopus. Do we need the octopus? Yeah. Let's find out. Working through um, a load of animals, right? That uh, I'm finding out whether we need them or not, right? Right. Because like jellyfish, to me, I'm a bit puzzled by them. I don't really know why we need jellyfish. And I spoke to some turtles expert. Turtles eat them. What? Turtles eat them. Yeah, I know, but do we need turtles? Do you know what I mean? It, it goes on and on, doesn't we it? We need humans. Well, you know, I mean, that, I might get to that bit, but yeah. I need to sort out the animals first. I've got right. a lot on. So the thing is, I've, I've left the jellyfish. We know we need them. Right. right. So, octopus. Yeah. Right, I know they're pretty brainy. Incredibly brainy. Um, a story that I heard, I don't know if it's true, but uh, there was some science lab somewhere, right? Yeah. Where they had some octopus in it, and they had some crabs. Yeah. And at night, the octopus was, like, getting a bit bored on its own in the dark and that, and they, they sort of come alive in the dark, don't they? Yeah. They like the dark. Yeah. And the octopus had, like, had its eye on the crabs... And at night, when it's dark, it was getting out of its little cage, crawling along the floor, getting in the crab's cage, getting them out and eating them. I don't doubt it. We put jam jars with the lids on, we crabs in, and they'll open the jam jar and... You're joking? Yeah. You and I sometimes struggle with them. <laughs> yeah, we don't do it... R bull, bull. You don't do it really, really tight, but... All oh, right, so they're not that clever, then? Well, they would, if they were strong enough, they'd open it, but they're just not that strong. Oh, that's mad. Right, I also know that uh, if they get hungry, they, they eat their own legs. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Uh, they're deaf. Well, I don't know. I don't, yeah. I don't really know. Yeah, I they mean, They don't live very long. Um, they can squash themselves into small jugs. Oh, yeah, they can go in a demijohn through the narrow neck and that. Why, why do they need to do that? Because they're the sort of crevices and holes that they're hunting for crabs and things through. So, would they be better if they were smaller? Do you know what I mean? I don't know. I really don't know. It's... Yeah. But octopus then, if if Noah said to you, you know, we're, we're, we're having a clear out. Yeah. We've got too many animals to look after and that in the sea, taking up too much room. Right. Do we need them? I think there's other l less useful things in the sea than octopus. Limpets, they could go. Limpets? Just, yeah, they just sit on a rock and do nothing for 50 years. But they're not getting in the way then. How big are they? Oh, not very big. Yeah, you see, I, I might come round to them, but I, I, I never think, oh, you know, I'm sick of seeing these limpets. Whereas octopus, you know, crawling about, opening jam jars and that. You'd never see them, though. They're pretty, really rare. Well... If we get two or three caught a year, it's a, you know, it's quite amazing. Do we need them? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Well, we'll just have to keep them, then. <laughs> I love that that Carl can confuse the scientist. Yeah. Yeah, because all systems of logic break down. I know, I, even moon. the scientist was going, well, get rid of limpets. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Now, who brilliant. was that guy? Uh, I think his name was Chris. And where was he from? In a place called Megavissi, where I went one year. Megavissi. And is he, uh, yeah, he's a scientist, is he? Uh, I think he's got a fish shop or something like that. He's got a fish shop? No, he doesn't. Well, like an aquarium type place. Oh, right. So... A <laughs> fish shop. <laughs> <laughs> it wouldn't fish and chip shop. It wouldn't be past him that he, uh, uh a, a winkle yeah. store. <laughs> He's got a winkle <laughs> store at Paul Harbour. Yeah, that's an expert. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. But, what, uh, what have you learnt from that, then? Well, the, uh, we don't know whether they're deaf or not, because the scientist, the bloke in the chip well, shop yeah. couldn't confirm it. <laughs> um, they eat their own legs. Yeah, Look at that's that. That's a bit weird. Yeah. They that's eat weird. their own legs? They eat their own legs if they get hungry. Right. Um... And they grow back, don't they? Mm, I think so, yeah. If, if, you, if you eat one, they'll grow back. Yeah. And, um, yeah, you can put them in, in little jars and that, uh, if you wanted to. <laughs> yeah. Uh, 
It's just a bit weird, isn't it? It's like, um... <laughs> no, but, do you know, like, you know, people have a go about being cruel to animals and that, but what he was saying there is, right, what they've watched an octopus do, they've, they've got hold of a crab, right, so that'll be being stressed out because it's out of the water. <laughs> yep. They've then stressed it out even more by putting it in a jar. Right. Which you didn't like. Uh -huh. Which you didn't like. And then an octopus is crawling about on the jar. Yeah. And the crab knows that the octopus wants to eat it. Right? Yeah. So then it's having more frets. Yeah. Because of that. And then they let the octopus eat it. Yeah. I think that's, that's pretty... Do we need crabs? Uh. See them next week, yeah. Well, I want to sort out snails first. Right. <laughs> right. Okay. What's your pitch with snails? What do you know about snails? Um, I know that, um, bats eat them. Um, they can sleep for 13 years. Right. <laughs> can you believe that? Okay. <laughs> he said to me, he said to me, snails can sleep for 13 years. And I went, right. He went, oh, thing is though, if it was a scientist, and he was, you know, he was looking at it, and he put it in a quiet place. It might well doze off. <laughs> he said it wouldn't be the same if it lived on the streets. <laughs> do, we, uh, get, do we need them out of the way? Yeah, do we need them out of the way? Yeah, just, uh, let's, again, let's explain it again. If you're new, um, I'm sort of on a bit of a mission to find out, you know, we've got a lot of animals and insects in the world and stuff. Yeah. Um, do we need them all? <laughs> <laughs> it still amuses me. <laughs> so we've found out we've got to keep jellyfish. We've done octopus. Just yeah. said we've got to keep them. This week, snails. Do we need them? Just doing some research, uh -huh. right? Um, I'm sort of working my way through different creatures and insects and stuff that's on the planet. Yeah. Right? Um, and finding out if we need them or not. Right? Yeah. Do you know much about snails? Well, um, sea snails? Well, yeah. Snails in general. Um, not a bit much about snails, land snails, not a bit about sea snails, like whelks, top shells, that sort of thing. Would you say they're important? And um, what sort of sense do you mean by important? Say if we had to sort of get rid of some animals and insects and that, because we're running out of room. Right. Do you know what I mean? Because I'll tell you what I know about some snails. I don't know if this applies to sea snails as well. I mean, I called you today because a lot of other places are shut. Yeah. Right, so, um, I know, um, they like to eat stamps, apparently. They glue on stamps. They right. love it, right? Right. Um, apparently a lot of, um, letters and stuff aren't getting to where they're meant to be getting because snails are crawling into letter boxes and eating right. the stamps. That obviously doesn't apply to the sea ones, mm. but that, that's a problem they're causing. All right. Uh, are you, were you aware of that? No. Well, get you glad you answered the phone today. Right. They love beer. Beer, yeah, he doesn't. And also, I don't know if this is right, but I heard that they sleep for 13 years, or can do. Right, I've, I wouldn't know if they can sleep for 13 years or not, but... I mean, sea snails are pretty important, yeah, they're, they're, they do quite a good job in the sea, they uh, um, graze on algae, isn't they? But, they but... They provide food for other, other animals. I mean, you can say that about any fish, you know, oh, any animal, why do they, why do they exist? Would, would you be know. upset if, you know, someone said, we're getting rid of them? Oh, yeah, yeah. You would they're, be? They're an animal, you know, I wouldn't... Forget being, like, favouritism and all that I get for them, right? There'll yeah. be other things knocking around you can sort of spend your time looking after. You'll still have a job, don't be worrying about that, because I'm not going to get rid of all the fish. Jellyfish need looking after, so you're safe. Yeah. But do we need them? Come on, there's loads of people saying, come on, we've got to move on through the animals, and you're holding them up saying... Well, I, I want to keep them. Well, who's, who's saying we need to... That just sounds a bit, just sounds a bit crazy to me. Just, just imagine. Do you know what I mean? And, and they would come to you because you work in an aquarium, so they'd, they'd be asking for your advice. Right. And you're slowing it down. Well, they asked for my advice and I'm giving it to them, so, you know, that's what I think anyway. Yeah, but snails, you know, I mean, like I say, they, they drink beer and that, you know. What do, what do they do apart from uh, some food for a, for a whelk? They were, they were around, their descendants were around a lot longer, uh, longer than we have been. Yeah, they've been around a long time, but what have they done? Well, they survived that long, so they must be doing something pretty good. Well, apparently they sleep for 13 years, so really, even though they've been around for ages... I, I, I think that sounds a bit, 
I don't think I sleep for 13 years. Not all, I mean, not all of them, just, just, the, just the tired ones. So, snails, do we need them? Well, yeah, I just think they've got to, this is, you know, it's not for us to say, do we need them or not, we can't just... So, so you think we should keep them? Yeah, definitely. <laughs> Carl, <laughs> I'm proud of you. That he was, was getting really quite annoying. I know. What, what, what did he think he was doing? What? <laughs> I don't know what you tell these people. I mean, you don't get their permission to play this out, do you? You well, just don't tell the them. the thing is, right, I, yeah, I sort of told him what it was about, but we won't say who he is or where he works, because it doesn't matter. I just needed to speak so, to someone who knows. <laughs> I know the fact that you were trying to get an answer out of him by suggesting that he would be safe because he could look after jellyfish if he gave the OK to destroy snails. Right, so we, we're looking into animals that we get rid of. I've spoken to someone about snails, I've spoken to someone about jellyfish and that. I'm uh, looking at cockroaches today. Right, now who's the expert? Um, it's a woman called uh, Jessica Marshall. Right. Does she know that you're going to play this on the radio? Well, I called up, right, in the week and said, can I talk to someone about Just... cockroaches? And she was like, is that Carl? She knows who you are. Yeah. Right, so she already knows maybe your angle, your approach. Yeah, she was And uh, is she, she is an expert, she's just not, not just some random person. No, she works in a museum, where, a good museum, I said I'd give it a plug. It's a one near Knightsbridge, it's got dinosaurs and that in it, it's worth seeing. Well, and that's History Museum? Yeah. So, uh... <laughs> not sure. <laughs> <laughs> He's not sure. <laughs> this is Go what on. happened. Now, what I'll do, I'll tell you as much as, as I know, and then you can fill me in if I'm right or wrong, and then at the end of it, we'll get to the bottom of whether we need them or not. Okay. All right, so uh, first of all, uh, the first thing that, that, I, that I found out is that um, that they have 18 knees. Uh, that's not exactly possible. They're insects, so they have six legs. Yeah. And the knee is usually the junction between femur and tibia. That's sort of classic human knees and every other animal knee. So with six legs, you can only have six knees. Uh, could somebody sort of got mistaken for seeing one that was a bit double-jointed? Cover I, I traps. think you're grasping at straws or something. All right, well, uh, well, we might have to come back to that one then. Okay. Um, they can hold the breath for 40 minutes. Well, they don't do that because they don't breathe in the same way as us. They breathe through little spiracles, holes down the, the side of the body, so, um, no. If They're it, not a very apt simile because the, the method of breathing is so different. What do you mean? Because insects have a, a totally different system. They don't have lungs in the way that we do, and just breathing through one part of the body. They're, they're actually breathing through every segment of the body all of the time. So even though they've got their mouth shut, they might... Be able to slide. Nothing to do with breathing. So just feeding. So you see, maybe that's where someone's gone wrong. Someone's got hold of one and sort of taped its mouth up or something, and so got bored after forty Again, minutes and said, "Well, we'll call it right." That's a unkind thing to do to an insect, even to a cockroach. Yeah, but it's all. You can't do that. Yeah, but. No. Pretty unkind thing to do anything to anything, even a cockroach. Something else I found out. Yeah. They can live for a week without an head. Well, that's true, if they don't bleep to death in the process. But the weird thing is, when I told you that they had 18 knees, you seemed a bit sort of, like, don't don't talk ridiculous. But yeah. then we're talking about an animal that can live without an head. Ah. Uh, so, so there's a little bit of truth in that one, yeah? Yes. Why, when it was invented, has it got that facility? Say if someone said to humans, we could do that with humans, and, you know, if you lose your head in some accident... It gives you a bit of time to sort of go back to your to your family and maybe write them, write them a note. You won't be able to have a chat, but write them a note saying it was my own fault and uh, it was nice knowing you. Oh, well, that I would be a useful facility. I agree, but cockroaches are great survivors. I mean, they've been around for over three hundred million years. They're one of the most primitive insects. All right. Well, I've also. Um, is it true that they do a lot of resting? Apparently, they can sort of rest for seventy five percent of the time. Yeah, they just just sit about doing nothing. It's probably true of a, a vast proportion of, of the world's 
fauna. Well, I mean, maybe be, maybe the 25% uh, that they are working, they're really giving it some, so it might make up. And they're probably searching out food, and, uh, yeah, they can slow down considerably. You can chill insects in the fridge, and they'll become very, very quiet. You might think they're dead. Yeah, but, but I'm sure, you know, if, if we were sat in a fridge, you know, we'd go a bit quiet, wouldn't we, you know? I, well, uh, you might not know much about it, of course. Yeah, but... Not quite reading the, the right sources. Well, I've been using the internet. I'm sure there are many useful sources that you could find there, but some of those seem to have been a little um, misleading to you. So, so you don't agree with with a lot of what I've told you there? No. So, cockroaches, can we get rid of them? No. So we're keeping them then? I would say so, yeah. I think we should get her on more often because she sounds like she'd be a bit of an ally, really. Because she knew immediately that you were talking nonsense. She even said, I think you should be more concerned about your sources, which I've been trying to tell you for a year, right? The fact, I mean, I mean 18 knees, where did you get that from? It was, uh, it was on the uh, internet. Uh, they can hold their breath for 40 minutes. <laughs> I mean, I don't know what, I don't know what you read and take on. Mad world, don't it? <laughs> <laughs> Listen, right, because I remember when wh when we, you know, I was growing up on this estate. This is gonna be good. Go on. No, no, it's not. It's just a, an example of how this doesn't work. Go so, on. So we don't need to worry, sort of thing. Sure. Right? Okay. So growing up on this estate, and there was a there was this woman about four houses down, right? It's a bit rough. <laughs> all right. Didn't fancy her. Oh God, no. Right, but <laughs> she had a Boy. baby. Well, tell me about her first. I'm interested in this woman. Why was she? It was a very. So, like, being a man in a dress. I mean, I didn't grow up in a posh house or anything. And I'm sure. Not, I'm not saying that if you live in a bit of a rough house, mm. you're a bad person. What but, did she look like? But anyone can tattoos clean up. They look like they, Tony Green with a fag on. They didn't clean up much, right? Oh. Which even if you've not got a lot of money, you can still try what, and make the place look nice. Yeah. Right. But she didn't, and a kid used to take a horse into the house. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> whoa, 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 Neddy, whoa, 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 Neddy. What do you mean a kid used to take a horse into the house? When they get a right. horse? Must have nicked it from somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> must have done. Is using horse <laughs> in it? No. <laughs> what, is that from outside the saloon round the corner? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, was it just tied up with a bit of... <laughs> right? Um, oh, that's great. I'd Big, Big Jake, <laughs> I'm looking <laughs> for it. I, I'd been out. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Oh, sorry, let me get this. This was before the lynching stopped or after. <laughs> 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 Where'd he get a um, horse from? What do you mean he must have nicked it? His mum said, Where'd you get that from? I bought it. Alright then. But we'll keep it out of the kitchen. I don't want you going Catlin rustling. <laughs> oh, Where'd he get a horse from, Carl? Just... And how long did he have it for? Until... Was he leading it or riding it? Mum, open the door! I can't stop! <laughs> I can't stop it! <laughs> open the patio door as well, I'll be- Looks like we got us a runaway! <laughs> what do you mean? I don't know, but the oh. thing is, they couldn't afford to buy one because they're not cheap. So I'm just guessing. Maybe that's wrong of me. But I, I think- He you know, had a horse? Yeah, right, so- That's I'm... why the family didn't have any money, they'd spend it on the horse! No, exactly. I don't think- that's what I'm saying, I don't think they would have bought it. So anyway- Yeah, it's so... nice to whisper, Carl, in case they're listening. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and they it's could not, be in the room next door. It's not buying it; it's keeping it as well. Oh, no, so I, so I was like in the car with my dad coming yeah. into the avenue, and you used to have to drive down it to turn round, and, yeah. uh, and you know, sort of go back to to our house. You had the traditional method of transport, yeah. Okay. And uh, the horse was in the lounge, <laughs> reading a paper, just just like walking around. <laughs> What? And when I when I was doing, I, I tried to earn myself some money once by flogging little flowers in in plastic cups. What? This right. is genius! <laughs> it just keeps coming. What do you mean you tried to flog little flowers? What do you mean? Well, wait, 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 wait! Let's play a record. Let's play a record and come back to this. Wait a minute! Wait a minute! Just unravel and unravel. It's going on for hours. Let's play a track. Deeper and deeper. It's like an onion, isn't it? We've created a whole world here where there's a man living with a horse, just walking around the land. I come from the West Country. I've never heard anything like that. I just think of a big sort of like orange carpet and a rediffusion telly, and this horse going, "I'm fed up, in here. Exactly. This is really. I am not taking the rubbish out again. Yeah. Right, play a record. Let's have uh, Velvet Underground. We've got that line. Oh, yeah, God. the classic from the first album. Uh, I'm waiting for the man. Let's come back to the horse. In a well, hang on. I just want to recap slightly. So there was a family, and who had the horse in the family? It was 
Because you lived on a, an estate in Manchester. The, so the, the yeah. mother, the mother was a right pig, apparently. Well, I don't know if that's relevant. You don't need to go that far. But, but you- But well, well, what I'm on. trying to do is, like, make a picture for you so you understand- What, what a picture like? it is. Who did she look like? Um, bit of a- I no disrespect to her. Bit like Pauline Quirk. <laughs> Quirky, <laughs> yeah. Right? <laughs> okay. I knew you were gonna say that. Yeah. I knew it was gonna be poorly. Did she have any tats? Did she have any tats? I never got that close to her. Okay, all right. So, and so who had the horse? Was this her son or her no, husband? No, her, her daughter. Her daughter had stolen a horse? Yeah, from I don't know where. There was a- I think it was some stables down the road or something. And they- they kept the horse in the house with them? They kept it in the house. Did they, they didn't get have caught? it for long. No. So, and you said you were in the house one day and you saw the no, horse No, no, what there. happened was I was, um, they did this thing at school about raising money for charity. Right? For some local charity. And they said you can do anything to- to raise money and they came out with all these ideas and I thought that's good. What was the charity? But forget- well I don't know, I thought forget the charity. Yeah, that's I'm just a good money making so, <laughs> You're a charity. So, um, <laughs> so I asked me mum for some, uh, cause she used to have a lot of flowers around the house. Sure. I said can I just take some snippings off them? And uh, I'll go and buy some plastic cups. And uh, got some soil out of the garden, planted the- the- the bits of plants in them. Yeah. Got a tray. Yeah. Had about twenty-five plants on it, selling yeah. them for twenty-five pence each. Excellent. Did you sell any? Yeah, so loads. Did they? W did you just cut? You didn't just cut them and stick them in yeah, the soil. Yeah, they want to survive. Oh. But I think people sort of thought, "Well, good on him for trying." But anyway, so I went round to theirs because I thought their house could do with a bit of colour and stuff. Yeah, because it's a bit rough. So as I went, the horse went. Thank God for that <laughs> breakfast. <laughs> they've, been, they've, they've been feeding me kitty cat. <laughs> yeah. So I got up to the door and they opened the door and it was one of them houses where no carpet. <laughs> yeah. A horse in the living room. <laughs> you know. We've all been there. And, yeah. and the horse was walking around the living room. Oh. And it looked quite happy and everything because I always say that about animals. Black Beauty right? was on. <laughs> well, <laughs> yeah. Well, think about it, right? If you were a horse, where would you rather be? In a little wooden hut with a load of hay or in like a house with a central you know, heating? Three piece suite and sure. a telly and that. <laughs> <laughs> telly and that! <laughs> no, but I was saying this the other day. And an Atari. Right? <laughs> I was walking through London. Come on, sixty-four yeah. rubbish. Exactly. W walking through London with Suzanne, right? Yeah. And you know, like homeless people, always have dogs. And yeah. she said, "Oh, I hope, I hope she looks after it." And I said, "They've got that dog is happier than most dogs, right? Because people always walk past and give it a pat on the head. Yeah. It's with its owner all the time. Yeah. yeah. It's out in the open. It's not locked up in a house. Yeah. It doesn't you know eat. I mean? But other than that, <laughs> no, it does eat. Though they're always all right. So that's what I was saying. I think this horse. Was was doing all right for yeah. itself. Do you know? Daddy, well, not many horses have got their own house. Exactly. For a start, yeah. But anyway, that's that's what, that's what by the by. Yeah, yeah. So anyway, this family, who's a bit, what we were talking about, it was about cloning. genetically modified kids yeah. and all that yeah. stuff. Yeah. Right now, what I'm saying is, you could say, you know, right, Steve, you could have a baby, right, mm -hmm. and Ricky could see it and say, God, I want one that looks like that. Yeah. <laughs> right. When I was about thirteen, fourteen, I once tried to improve. The animal kingdom by making the hardest animal ever, the most perfect animal. Now, just to clarify, you didn't, in sort of Frankenstein style, no. try and bolt various bits of animals together. It, it was a drawing that I sent to Blue Peter. There was no competition going on. You just thought they would be appreciated. I thought they'd, they'd look at that and they'd go, "Well, this is he's a genius. Yeah. This is like Da Vinci." Sure. Um, and this is the animal. This is what I thought the perfect animal. I mean, when I say perfect, I meant the hardest animal. This right. animal, it could take anything. It was just the strongest, hardest, fastest, right? Yeah. So, I started with the head of a lion. Of course, that makes sense. Do you know what I mean? Oh, it looks good. Oh, right, body, right. Yeah. Okay. I popped that on the body of a rhinoceros. Okay, so it's got the toughness, oh, the armour, if you like. The, the, oh, it's full strength. Head yeah. of a lion. Think of that. So, you've got this picture. Head of a lion, body of a rhino. Perfect. Okay. Hold on, though. Pop some arms on it. The front arms were the arms of a gorilla. The arms of a gorilla. So okay. it could punch, grip, it could make stuff. The lion, I mean, that's where the lion falls down, because it can't make stuff. Sure. It can't climb, you know. So, okay then, wait a minute. You think that's got enough weaponry? Sounds like it. No. Pop on the tail of a giant scorpion. <laughs> a giant scorpion? Yeah, yeah. So, so a scorpion that's, that's the size so of a rhinoceros. Exactly. So the tail was as long as that rhinoceros. So now yeah. this is a scary animal. Yeah. And this is where the animal fell down. Uh, I thought, right, legs. Well, the fastest animal is the cheetah. The cheetah. Popped on four cheetah legs. Four cheetah legs. It would have collapsed. Crushed under it the weight It would have collapsed of immediately. <clears throat> so, uh, yeah. yeah. And you, you drew this, did you? I drew it, yeah. Did you show it to anyone yeah, other Yeah, my mates went, that's brilliant. Right. I said, that's brilliant. <laughs> 
And uh, then just sent straight to Blue Peter. Yeah. Any reply? No reply at all. Really? No reply Surprise. at all. What do you think of that, Carl? What would you? Th how would you? Though? What would if you wanted to make the ultimate fighting animal? What would you come up with? If you had the power, like that fella in Arabian Nights, size of a chimpanzee, you could change into anything, but you could change into, you know, like that. I don't think I'd go for strength and that. I'd go for survival. What would you do? Uh, Cockroach. I'd have, uh, I'd have like, uh, an armadillo's body. Right. Okay. So you've, that's, that, that's as big as you can be now then. So you, you, you can't really pop on a lion's head because it'd just lay there going, I can't fucking move. All right. I'd have, uh, head of an owl. Right? The head of an owl? Yeah. Why, 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 come on, why, what does that bring to the table? The head's there to sort of make it look friendly to, to the human race. So, okay. because if you look half decent to the human race, they'll, mm. they'll look after you. Right. That's the way it works. Yeah. Right? Okay. With the cat and the dog and all that. Mm. Okay. So the owl makes it look nice. Right. I'd have, uh, I wouldn't have legs. I'd go for like the slug juice. It's <laughs> what you mean? So now, you're a really slow moving legless armadillo with a head of an owl. Slithering along. How yeah. is that going to be friendly? They'll be, they'll see the beautiful face, but then they'll be terrified by the sludge. No, because the head's that nice that they'll, they'll forgo the, uh, the sludge. But hold on though. But wait a minute. So, this got, it's got this thing that's stuck, right? Going at 0 0.1 miles an hour with a, going, Hoo, right? You come over, you kick the head off. How is this? No, because the head can go into the thing like a tortoise. Can it? Yeah. Of course it can. Into so, the armadillo body. Well, no, an armadillo doesn't do that. It just curls up into oh, a ball. This isn't an armadillo, is it? So it's. Oh, Why has it got the slug? Why because is that so attractive? what I'm thinking, what I'm thinking is, an armadillo, they're good when they're on their feet. Flip them, they get stuck, like a tortoise. Right. Slug stuff keeps it down. So if anything attacks it, it's like a limpet or one of them things that can. Why well, have a limpet stuff. then? But 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 it oh. can't get any. How it can barely move. It can just hardly go and, get just anywhere. Just go and kick it. What just this, can't get but anywhere. But how can it escape from danger? It's going to move it's rubbish. Very slowly. No, because that's the worst it'll lock animal. Lock itself in. It'll lock itself in. Yeah, and then I just scoop it up on the. You sand. can't scoop it up. It locks itself in if it's in danger. I'd give it peacock feathers. <laughs> Why has it got peacock heard? feathers? Again, this, it's just, it's just It's the so worst animal you, I've ever heard. Why has it got peacock feathers? Threatening. It looks more threatening. It that's does, what, that's the do. least threatening thing, peacock feathers. It's like Danny LaRue coming at you. There's yeah. nothing remotely scary about peacock feathers. Yeah, to humans. Yeah. But the humans won't be harming it because they like the owl head. People will like to have these things in the garden. Hmm. Uh, they eat lettuce. They eat lettuce? They eat Why has it got a beak? They eat lettuce, he's telling them what he's gonna eat now, the owl's going, fuck that, I want a mouse. I love the fact that he's based what it eats on the fact that how it moves a bit like a slug. Yeah. <laughs> they eat lettuce. Yeah. It moves that and they eat lettuce. Like I said, it's not that weird if that, if that existed. If that was normal, like when you went out to empty your bin, there was one of them sliding up the wall. <laughs> You wouldn't, you wouldn't even double take. It'd just be like, oh, there's the, uh, the owl head peacock feathered thing. I don't know why he's climbing walls in an effort to find lettuce. Yeah, why is it climbing up that wall? Because that's the only way it can see properly. Because its head's coming out like that. <laughs> so even though you've designed this animal, now it's, you're even expanding <laughs> it's, its limitations. Problems. Well, it's, 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 it's mainly made as, uh, to be on walls. Because <laughs> <laughs> what else is living on walls? <laughs> God. Oh, fuck it out. What a useless animal that is. Carl, I mean. But nature chucks up odd things, doesn't it? Don't. Why are we starting on this again? No, I'm, I'm, I'm just, I'm just saying that is nature. Fuck now and again, you'll get, you'll get stuff that. Oh, was he looking at you? Yeah. Was he? <laughs> Look at his fucking head. Look at his stupid round fucking orangey head and, oh. Why, why aren't you a freak? You've got a little bald head. We're not meant to be bald. Well, I, I was, I think. That's the thing. That's what nature's done. You see, I didn't do anything with my hair when I had hair. I didn't style it. I didn't do anything with it. And it probably thought, what am I doing here? <laughs> <laughs> Whereas people who love their hair and they comb it and have different styles and look after it, they have hair for ages. Nonsense. No, nonsense. nonsense. Absolute well, nonsense. Well, you're saying it. Absolute nonsense. Well, it's a little bit weird then, isn't it? <laughs> and that's what happens with old people. Once they lose their, you know, will to live, once they lose the job, they get old. What's my purpose? What am I doing here? And it's like nature goes, you're not needed. And they die. Maybe that's what happened with the dodo. What's it doing? 
can't fly. His wings are useless. Eat it. Tastes horrible. Kill it. <laughs> no, they Nature. did eat it. I think they did eat yeah, it. Yeah, but it wasn't very nice, was it? I think I think they over farmed it. I think that's why it was extinct because they did eat it. No, but they did eat it, but they didn't like it. Everybody, you never, you never saw like a fully eaten carcass of a dodo. You're it making this up again. Eaten. All conjecture. No, but they, they didn't eat it all. Everybody would probably try it and go, it's not for me, that. <laughs> but you don't know no this. No idea, you you're just making this. it up. What's this based on, I've that just... people, and also, why would that kid it out? Because, I'll tell you why. why. Because if it's not nice, people don't go, don't get another one in. And they die out. The reason we've got loads of chickens and loads of cows is because we eat them. If we ate polar bears, we wouldn't be short of them. Because <laughs> you'd farm it, you'd ca take more care, but what's a polar bear doing? Sat on a block of ice floating about. <laughs> <laughs> it's no use to us, is it? It sounds harsh. Once again, no got his information from a glacier mint advert. No, it's no, it's no use <laughs> to us. We know they're there, and it's all very sad when you see them on the news sort of struggling and all that. Yeah. But it's gonna make them stronger. Mm. Are you ready? Yeah. Alright, is this monkey? Right. Oh yeah. It's called Jack. Yeah. Right. I got pally with this bloke who worked in a railway station. <laughs> <laughs> How? How? Pen pals? I, I don't know. I didn't say all internet, that. Internet. Internet. I'm, I'm short. Channels it. on the internet. I'm short. <laughs> So, um, anyway, he's helping him out all the time. It's this fella's job, right, to, uh, sort of make sure it's safe for the trains to come in, that sort of thing, right? But he's always working on his own, so he's, he's got his mate Jack in with him, right, this, this little monkey. Yeah. And, uh, you know, they're having a good time, they share lunch together and stuff like that. Anyway, it gets to a point when the fella whose job it is, right, he starts getting old, uh, and Jack, the monkey, starts getting more involved. Presumably this is a chimpanzee as opposed <coughs> to a monkey, you mean. When I you say it's monkey, uh, it's generic term, you mean, you mean... You mean chimps usually, don't you? Yeah. Go on then. <clears throat> so, um, you know, he's, he's clocking the fella doing his job and he's thinking, I can do this. All right, the monkey. <laughs> I love it. Yeah. He's helping out. He's, uh, pulling down the levers and stuff. Yeah. So the train sort of come in on the right line. Sure, sure, sure. Yeah, He's yeah, clocking yeah. it. He sticks his head out of the little window. See the trains come in and that. I have British Rider listening. <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh, in the end. Oh, yeah. The fella whose job it is, he lost a leg for some reason. Couldn't work anymore. Lovely. Gave Jack the job. Yes. Right. Okay. The railway company are happy with that. I'm sure they, 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 they interviewed a number of people, but he was the best <laughs> monkey for the job. <laughs> and that's, that's good, isn't it? Well, it's not true. Right. Once again. Well, it's not true. Don't hand Steve a piece of paper that someone put on the internet who is probably a bigger mentalist than you. That's not proof. It's not true. At no point did a railway company give a chimpanzee the job of signalman? It was ages ago. Uh, uh, what? Steve, when was it? it was before like before trains, 19, probably. Well, it's, uh, in the 1880s. Yeah. Uh, according to this piece of paper, which is what you've based your monkey news on. Now, of course, I think ITN and a lot of the news channels, they tend to get lots of independent <laughs> confirmation of their news before they give it out <laughs> as fact. <laughs> but you've got an email from someone, so let's assume that's real. It says, for this, Jack was officially put on the railway payroll, earning two cents per day and have half a bottle of beer on Saturday. <laughs> that's what we pay you, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't even get the beer. <laughs> oh dear, he's not allowed to drink, are you? Someone emailed in actually and said, uh, Carl, some years ago, did you die and they took your face and <laughs> transplanted it onto that of a chimpanzee? <laughs> it would make a lot of sense. I've never seen you, you never, he always, he always has, um, t-shirts right done up and long sleeved. I bet he's hairy under there. Yeah. I bet you are hairy because you have to shave right up to your eyes, you're one of them, aren't you? And I can see the growth and it comes out the, the top there. Are you really hairy underneath? I'm pretty hairy. Are you really? Well, what's wrong with, what's up with that? You're a, you're a human Z, aren't you? That's why you're fascinated with them and why you, your, your IQ is sort of about 80. I think you might be. You might, I, I don't mean uh, there was any, I think it was a genetic sort of, sort of throwback. Well, you're pretty hairy. Look <laughs> at your arms. <laughs> Better monkey news, that's been, uh, it's been sent in. Right. Uh, Gareth in Catford. Right. Good work, Gareth. Um, basically, it's about this, uh, this monkey. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. In the jungle. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> it's got a gig at an hairdresser's. What are you talking about? <laughs> what are you talking about? What are you talking about? It's got, it's got, uh, it's got itself a nice little job going in an hairdresser's. As what? It, um, gets people sitting down. Um, and what it does before the people have their hair cut, that, it sort of sits there. And it goes through people's hair, makes sure it's clean, and uh, people are loving it. Right, backtrack. So, so it's a so it's a pet monkey. 
It's nothing to do with it getting a gig in an hairdresser's. It's a pet monkey. It's not working at Monkey and Guy. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, seriously, it, it's, it's in there. Uh, I think it might have started off as a job and then- So what's it say? It says, Junior fifteen pounds, stylist thirty five pounds, <laughs> monkey sixty three pounds. <laughs> so I didn't quite dry. follow- it's in the jungle. It was wandering about. <laughs> Right. Uh, maybe, maybe it did But it looks good, its hair looks good, someone thought, hang Yeah, on. but never ever, you see, people make that mistake with hairdressers anyway. I always say, well, if the hairdresser's got a good haircut, go to where he's going. Right. Right? Because yeah. that's what I thought when I read it, about having yeah. a good haircut. How right? often do you go to the hairdressers? Well, not that much anymore, sure. but, but I used to always think that. Yeah. You uh, used to go to a bloke who told me had his shack on a railway bridge that used to shake when a train went over. Yeah. Because it was two quid. Yeah, but before that, I've, I've never had that much luck with hairdressers. Before that was a was another place, and it was run by sort of you know these sort of wannabe gangster type people. Oh yeah. But they'd uh, you know you'd go in what for haircut. What do you mean haircut. by wannabe gangsters? Well, sort of just just petty crime stuff. You'd go in for a haircut and then you'd walk out with a video recorder. <laughs> do you know what I mean? You'd you don't say, have to take it. <laughs> no, I know, but they'd sort of spend ages flogging you that whilst cutting your hair. It was their thing. It's like right, sit down. You're right. Yeah. Oh, you so know. Up for the weekend. What are you thinking of? Maybe a Sony. Yeah. yeah. So and so that that's when I stopped going there because it was like, this is what I haircut. I don't want to be hassled. Yeah, which one said that you had the hair of a Chinaman? It's the fellow who works in a railway station haircut. <laughs> well, he saloon. should know. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he's been around a bit clearly if he runs a shack <laughs> next to a railway station. <laughs> <laughs> so um, can we just go back to Monkey News yeah, for a second? So anyway, that's all. Yeah. I yeah, didn't so quite follow why he he he's still he's still his his salon is in the jungle, or where is it? No, he he was doing his doing what he does in the jungle, right? Right. <laughs> um, he's walking about. He wanders into the hairdressers. Yeah. Maybe they didn't have him on like as a job straight away. He was just there. He's just training. Like, this is it. nice. He's sat there picking the nits. And oh, I d oh, Carl, I don't know where to start. Then it's just the, it's the it's the embellishment. You don't walk in. He walks from a jungle to an hairdresser's. I mean, you're an idiot. You really are. An idiot. I'd love to see you try and get a job in an hairdresser if there was another <laughs> monkey up for it. You'd never get a job. So he was good at that. People said this is relaxing. Apparently, he had really nice hands, soothing, yes. right on people's heads. They said, let's put him on the payroll. So let's put him on the payroll. What do you mean? No, I'll, I'll give you that. Okay, this is the news item, is it? <sighs> Customers are queuing up to have their hair done at a salon in the jungle by a monkey. Mm. Judy, a pigtailed macaque, has a reputation as the best exterminator of head lice in Com Kane. She is so good, some customers fall asleep under her gentle touch. Yeah. Regular Amporon Chekema said, Judy's hands are so soft and gentle, I really feel I can relax. But you know that is doing what it does naturally. It's looking for like salt and stuff in the hair. Yeah. And knits. It's not on the payroll. It doesn't complain about when it gets when <laughs> it gets deducted at uh, national insurance. It's not part of the union. Yeah. Right, we've got to be quick. Go but, on. Then. Uh, this is something that was sent in to me ages ago and I don't know why I haven't done it yet because it's brilliant. <laughs> uh we were talking about monkeys typing, mm -hmm. um the Shakespeare theory and all that. Mm -hmm. Well this is about a uh, little monkey called Marty. Right? Basically, uh, it's in some science lab, right, it's in there. Uh, it was wandering about out of its cage, right? The lab fella was busy on the phone or something, yeah. right, and um, mm. Typical. it's wandering about, it goes up to a, a PC, that's in the corner, a little computer, types down, my name is Marty, right? Mm. So the fella got off the phone, Saw this on the screen with the monkey sat there. Says to his mate, "Have you done this?" Right, hold on, Carl. Right. Let him finish oh. before you question. Always let him finish. Right. I don't know what to do. Times against us. Come I on. He said, uh, "He said, have you done this?" He says, "Done what?" He said, "This on on the screen here, saying my name's Marty." Right. He goes, "What are you talking about?" As he's having an argument with his mate, saying, "You're lying. You did it." Monkey's sat there typing. This isn't a practical joke. My name is Marty. Right, and that's the end of the story? Uh, um, I'm not coming in next week. Uh, that's I, think we, I, think I, it's I think we need a week off. I actually think we need a week off. It's doing a, uh, a web chat or something. Uh, you can go online and have a chat chat with it. The monkey's doing a web chat? <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. Has he right, got his website Carl. yet? His uh, favourite Buffy the Vampire stuff here? Have a look at that, have a look at that. Right. Do you believe that, Carl? It's all there. 
No, but do you believe it? Do you believe that monkey could type that and then say, this is not a practical joke, when he's all arguing? Weird, innit? <laughs> so, uh, is that this little monkey? Oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, he lives in Morocco. Right, you, I'll just warn you now, you, you're on thin ice from last time, okay? So, make sure, is this real? It's been Don't say anything stupid. Think about it. As you're saying it, think to yourself, oh, is that true? Do monkeys do that? Do they think like that? So, go on then. Uh, so anyway, yeah, so there's this ma magician in Morocco, right? Mm -hmm. He's got a little monkey work working with him, mm -hmm. right? Um, the way it used to work, uh, magician used to do his thing on stage, do mm -hmm. a little bit of magic, people loved it. Yeah. Then the monkey came out, had a little cap, walked around the crowd and stuff, uh, got the money, had a good little team thing going on, right? Yeah. So anyway, the monkey's name was 86. Right. Because back then there was so mo many monkeys, it was like, oh, what names, do you know what I mean, what names do you use, what do you yeah. do? So yeah. they just like, named yeah. them, right? So this, this little monkey- just Well, he had, he had 86 mon- other monkeys? What? No, 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 it's just that because a lot of monkeys were sort of working back then, helping magicians out, you know, doing bits and pieces, busking, what have you. Just well, Rick, you know how there's so well, many- why would there be a confusion with that? I, I, if he only had one monkey, where's the confusion? People would go, oh, I'm not gonna go and see that, I wanna see 86, he's the better monkey. Do you know what I mean? What does it matter? I like, don't what, know what you mean. Well, why do they need- wh 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 where was the confusion? With people going to the circus and going, what monkey are you gonna see tonight? I don't know. It's, it wasn't a billing, was it, with a monkey? But Rick, you, it's just the same with humans, you know, there's so many humans now that we can't give them names anymore. Yeah, they all exactly. They have, have numbers. Exactly, yeah, there's so many humans, you know, with five billion people, they, we can't give them names, it's yeah. impossible. But you know, with a few monkeys anyway, working- Anyway, number 22, go on. So anyway, so uh, there he is. 86. 86. Uh -huh. With his hat. With his hat, walking around, getting the money. Yeah. Uh, anyway, the magician, sort of, uh, you know, thinking about moving on. Because in Morocco, he'd sort of done all the tourist traps. Sure. So he had a word with the monkey, said, how about we, uh... <laughs> <laughs> See? No, let him continue. Think. He let, let him continue. He, he didn't have a word with the monkey. Let him continue. So what do you think about going over to Spain? Yes. <laughs> God. Sure. So, uh, the monkey was in agreement? So he said, alright, go on then. Right, so, uh, so they get in the car, <laughs> and, uh, like the magician knew he'd have a bit of a problem on his hands because you're not meant to take monkeys out of the country. Yeah. Right? So he thought, right, what I'll do, I'll, uh, I'll get a car, right? Right. Uh, stick the monkey in a boot, right? Uh, get on the boat and hopefully sort of, you know, stick it in, a, in some luggage and what have you. Yeah. We'll be over there, we'll be earning big money, sure. everything's gonna be great. So the monkey was like, brilliant. So they, they get in the car, they're on the way to the, uh, to the boat, and uh, pull over at a petrol station, uh -huh. and uh, just before filling up, he opens up the boot and he goes, "You all right?" And then it's like, "Yeah, yeah, it's fine." <laughs> uh, so of he, leaves, he, does. he leaves the boot open so he can breathe and get a bit of fresh air whilst uh -huh. he's filling up. Goes in to pay the money. Yep. Pays the money. Goes. Uh, I'm just paying for the. Right. Uh, this monkey is not going to drive away in that car, <laughs> or we're never doing this feature again. <laughs> car. What happens? What's um, what's number eighty six up to? So <laughs> eighty six. So, uh... That's the ending, isn't it? That's the story. Come on, let- let- right, finish it better story. not be, it better brilliant, not be. Brilliant, brilliant, You're gonna love it. Right, so he's in the petrol station, and he's going, right, I'll pay for, uh, Pump 4. And the fella says, what are you talking P about, Pump, pump 4? Four? Four? Isn't that a monkey? No. <laughs> sometimes <laughs> I use numbers for monkeys, sometimes <laughs> I use- no, I mean Pump 4. Sure. Yeah, so he says, on. what are you talking about? There's no car at Pump 4. Right. <laughs> Keep going. You. Sticks his head out of the door, yeah. the monkey's giving it some, uh, went over to Spain on its own. <laughs> I don't know what to do. Um, well, hang on, let's just, let's just get a couple of the facts right yeah, here. Right, what do you mean, couple of the facts? Right, there are no facts. So, it number 86, it, it, number, number 86, 86 drove, he drove to Spain. You are, t uh, honestly, Carl, I, d you must know. It was an automatic. Right, Carl, how did he, how you did must he... know that is shit. There is no way a monkey man, That's the thing with his feature, though. He gets at customs. It's mental. How would he get through customs, Carl? Got, he got a passport? No, no, he was sneaking about because he didn't have a passport. So he parked and then snuck through. Do you want the facts? Let me see it. A little monkey. I think it lives in Asia, right? Uh, there's loads of them live in Asia. Might and, just be travelling, but yeah. And um, something they found out. I don't know if they've got it right, and that's why I want to bring it up. Uh, apparently, it's the mammal, right? That's got. Sort of the the pointiest eyes, eyes that pop out of the red. Steve. 
<laughs> now, the thing is, right? I thought that's interesting. Yeah. Apparently, it's 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 the biggest with the sort of goggle eye type thing. Right. <laughs> <laughs> right yeah. Go on. Apparently, they they come out of the red. Um, one point six centimeters. One point six centimeters. What you mean? They protrude. Yeah, they protrude from the head at one point six. Okay. What? How, how long? Have you got a ruler, Rick? <laughs> One point one point six. He's, he's I'd say I'd I'm be a little bit go. annoyed if the monkeys beat me. Well, I don't think it has. <laughs> That's what I'm hoping. <laughs> Is there anything we can? I mean, what's one point six? Can you? It's about drop your trousers. <laughs> <laughs> it's uh, uh, well, oh, well, three quarters of an inch. What do you think? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Have they got it right or what? <laughs> Maybe I should come down to Monkey World with you next week. Uh, uh. So anyway, so that's that's not the monkey news. <laughs> that's just something that cropped up. And sure. I do know once when we were playing pool in the office. I think Lucy was your partner. Yeah, it was me and Ash versus you and Lucy, and um, you were having trouble because his glasses kept slipping down. So Lucy pushed his glasses up his nose, but the glasses touched his eye. <laughs> Do you remember that? Uh, yeah. <laughs> he started it. He started it. Well, you're the one who joined in. <laughs> no, I know, and I feel I'm, I feel bad now. Yeah. <laughs> Makes me nervous when he goes. Yeah, it's like play record. No, I'm just trying to think about which part of your fat middle-aged physique I can pick on. <laughs> the tits would be a good. Yeah, stuff. yeah. Oh, the belly. Sure. Oh, what do you think of that? <laughs> oh, that that's what is that? Play record. Is that monkey news for this week? Have we not got well, any monkey, monkey news? news? Oh, well, it's just it hasn't been that good. I mean, the one that I found out here, um, because we've covered so much in the monkey world, right? The fact that we've done a monkey that was a sort of half man, we've done. A monkey that got a got a decent job in a train station. Um, can you think of any of the other? Well, that's just there? some of the great monkey news from the past. That's what yeah. I mean. So that's what you got to compete with. So even though this is quite amazing, um, just so, tell us. Another monkey's got married. <laughs> <laughs> oh, not another monkey getting married. <laughs> what do you mean? It's got uh, another one. You know, it was knocking about with some uh, woman monkey for a bit. Um, a woman monkey. <laughs> They decided to, you know, get married. Yeah, they did. What had, do you mean they decided to get married? Was it yeah. pressure from her parents? They had a, they had a good do, and uh, <laughs> a good do. I love the spread. I love that just, peanut volivons. Yeah, cele uh. celebrated in a pub, and then they both went off to the cage at night. That's that's what I mean. Even though that is quite impressive, because but it's not true, <laughs> or it's a joke. It's nothing. It's not. And an over website, official sort of news. Website. Two monkeys have married in Romania uh, after a whirlwind romance. Well, that's <laughs> after a whirlwind romance. <laughs> God, yeah, yeah, a quick one hanging onto the rope. Yeah, yeah. yeah. She was in the tire. Yeah, he saw it. <laughs> yeah, he went. I have a go at that. They go. We got to marry her now. Yeah. Her parents came and said, "Did you just? Yeah. Did you just?" Shrug? He was in a zoo, tire. knocking one off. She went. I can do that for you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Guess so. The monkey bridegroom was scared by the number of people attending the wedding and refused to get out of his cage. So oh. his bride was, <laughs> not his, bloody Hello Magazine again. No, it was no. I think it was like last minute nerves. Right, like right, you know, right. I, I, yeah, I'm single thoughts. now. It's like you know, it's the big step. Yeah. But his bride enjoyed every minute of it. She was loving it. Yeah, she sure, looked lovely, sure. by the way. She looked lovely. Yeah. Um, <laughs> How did she look good? Reports she only appeared to have problems with her veil and dress. Do you see? You know uh, uh, the the. This is the guest in I hope they didn't ruin it like Anthea Turner and maybe get sort of sponsorship PG tips or something. Totally <laughs> with strong plum brandy, so they got them drunk as well. So they carried on the celebrations at the pub and the boy was taken to her new husband's cage at night. I I really I Yeah, so today's isn't isn't that uh isn't that happy really. It's about uh some monkey, I think it was a chimp. Um Who's an ape? Go on. It tried to it, it, I mean, the story sets off a, a, a sort of a, a weird thing. Yeah. It's something about he, he went to Russia to do some business. 
like that. What are you talking about, Carl? I, I don't, it it I jumped mean, past that bit, though. It didn't start there. What? He, Do you know what I mean? It, it, it didn't tell you what he was doing. It just said, there's this monkey, went to Russia. Um, <laughs> to do some business. Do some stuff. I don't know. Bit of monkey business. And, um, <laughs> anyway, didn't work out. <laughs> <laughs> they were furious! <laughs> we wanted a surgeon, you send us a monkey. Um, anyway, ended up being homeless. Oh, no, joking. So what was taking a turn for the worst? What, couldn't even get into a, like, you know, like a tree hostel or anything like that? That's, that's, that's the problem. And, oh, uh, God. ended up, uh, yeah, ended up homeless. Got in with some, uh, some tramps. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know where to start. Come on, <laughs> come on, come on, come on. Um, yeah, so he's knocking about with some tramps and stuff, um, you know, sharing drink and what have you around a little fire. <coughs> um, they broke into some home, not sort of squatted. Right, so not homeless flat. anymore? Um, problem was, yeah, he had a, a you know, roof over his, uh, little area head. Yeah. And he goes, uh, oh, this is good, this is, you know, we're having a good time, this is sorting me out. Yeah. He had, had his He mate. said that in Russian, though. <laughs> but what did it, what, what was he eating? I don't know. Don't know, I didn't say. But they're in this house. Well, well, he could only be eating, sort of like, you know, fruit, nuts, vegetables that- I mean, they- they classically just sort of don't eat, you know, pork pies and But they've got McDonald's coffee. in Moscow now, so- Sure. He probably chowed sure. down on that. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, there was a bust. Um, <sighs> what? This was there, was a, there was a bust in the flat that they were squatting in. All the other tramps sort of knew what was going on, legged it, left, uh, little chimps out there, got arrested. And they thought it was a real fella, at first. They were like, get him, you know, he's obviously just a scruffy bloke who hasn't had a shave and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Um, hasn't shaved his back for a <laughs> yeah. while. Or his face. <laughs> yeah, yeah. His head. Got, yeah. Got him down the station, and, uh, the boss was like, what's going on here? We've got a monkey here. He was like, what? So you arrested the monkey. Well, so, the, uh, arresting officers hadn't noticed all the way to the station that he kept slipping out of the handcuffs mm. and was going, <coughs> For the entire journey, they didn't notice till they got there. What did they put a hood over his head, maybe, and just like bat, you know? I, I don't know. Now, whilst I was in Cornwall, I wasn't online. I didn't no. have the internet, so it's like, oh, what am I going to do? And I didn't come back till yesterday. And I thought, is there loads going on that I don't know about in the monkey world and stuff? I was hoping to get some from the zoo that I was meant to be going to. Of course, that didn't happen. So, I said to my dad, do you know anything about monkeys? Have you got any stories with monkeys? Brilliant. This is a- no, this is what Trevor McDonald does. Turned out- <laughs> Quarter to ten, he goes, yeah. oh, got nothing. <laughs> dad, anything happened? You got anything politics? Anything politics, dad? <laughs> this isn't monkey news, I'm just giving you this free. Uh -huh. Yeah. Oh, brilliant. Uh, turned out, one of his mates used to have a chimp. <laughs> right. Um, what do you mean, one of his mates used to have a chimp? Well, two, two of his mates. Mind oh, you, sorry, yeah, mate, I, was, I, was, I, was, I was thinking it sounds a bit far-fetched, living in Manchester-like. But if there was two of them... He had a chimp, um, had to thump it in the head. <laughs> <laughs> For doing what? Answering back? <laughs> oh, God! Tried it on with his wife. <laughs> I love it. I love it. It's a proper fist fight in a pub in Manchester. Oh. I'd call him up, but he's one of them who, like, swears all the time. Right. Oh. I mean, it'd be good, it'd be good to get him on and just- Let's interview him. Can we not interview him pre-record? We can bleep out the swear and I'd love to hear his story. a lot of work, that. Yeah, well, well, it, 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 well, we're not scared of work, are we? No, I mean, Steve, I'll, I'll get know. myself if you can't be bothered. Yeah, oh, you know, I'll so. have a word, I'll have a word, I'll sort it out. Yeah, try yeah, and sort that yeah, out next week. Sort um, out, yeah, Well, don't yeah. tell us the rest of the story, then. Let's let him say it in his own No, words. but it was another one as well. Uh, some When fella... you say you can get him on, but he swears a lot, you mean the monkey? <laughs> 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 I'm assuming he's more coherent than your dad's mate. <laughs> but he's him, and there's some other fella he knows who had a funny name, I'll have to find out, because you'll love his name. But he was a drag artist. Yeah. And, uh, I think he said he went, my dad went round one day, I don't know why. Went around there, knocked on the door, chimp answered. <laughs> Carl, I don't know what you're doing, mate. I don't know where this place you live, next door there's an horse in the front room. There's chimps Mad, running mate. round. Mad. Anyway, uh <laughs> Chimp answered <laughs> Is that it? Is that the end of the story? There's a chimp answering the door and that's the end. You sure it wasn't the drag artist before he shaved? 
No, I'm sure no. it wasn't your grand. Because oh. I like the really airy ones that decide they can be female impersonators. <laughs> yeah, your grand. <laughs> anyway. Go on, um, then. Is, this is the monkey news. So you got that for free. What's this gonna be like, well, Steve? Well, let's have more jingles. Okay. Oh, Jim Pansy that, monkey news extra. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> right, uh, another phrase. We've been talking about phrases today. Yeah, we have, Don't yeah. teach your granny when she's shaving. Yeah. Uh, don't teach your granny to suck eggs. Yeah. Uh, don't look horse in the mouth. Yeah. <laughs> don't let the chimp answer the door if you're chucking your cock in. <laughs> um, familiar with the phrase monkey business? <laughs> <laughs> no, I've never heard that one before, Carl. That's brilliant. Right, well, it came about, this has been emailed in and I haven't really had a chance to look at it, so I'm just weighing it up now. Um, <laughs> God, yeah, this yeah, is the yeah, biggest yeah, shambles yeah. on air, isn't it, really? Mm -hmm. oh, I'm ashamed of it. it. I mean, what was Dr. Fox? Dr. Fox must have been really polite. He must have been thinking, I don't know how to put this. Mm. He, he, he must have wanted to scream and go, you shouldn't be in the radio authority. My parents listen online, I can't look them in the eye. <laughs> <laughs> right, I think I've weighed it up. <laughs> Um, <laughs> long time ago, right? Yeah. In the, uh, Olden days, yeah. In Go the on. Amazon jungle. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Little family of monkeys in there. Mm-hmm. Right? Having a good life. Of right? Didn't have any predators in there. Right? So, they were loving it. Yeah. They had a load of food around them, they had loads of banana trees. Yeah. Right? Mm, um, no, I don't think so. <laughs> no, they did. Sorry. I just, yeah. Everything's going great, so, they're happy in that. They go out of bed. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Wake up in the morning, load of bananas gone. Ooh, hang on, interesting. Hold on, wait a minute. So, Amazon <laughs> either your dad's been around or... Is it, this isn't the great Amazon banana robbery, is it? So anyway, turns out, it was another load of monkeys from another part of the island. From the rough bit. From the rough bit! From the rough bit! I love it! They went into a middle class area. Oh, oh, they're the ones is... with the earrings and the leather jackets. <laughs> oh, that is brilliant! From a rough part of the island! <laughs> so, the monkeys thought, well, there's no point getting into a fight with them because they're harder than we are. Yeah. Yeah. Of course, and they carry chains. So... <laughs> I love all this conjecture! They've got flip knives and this tattoos. Go yeah, go on. So, basically, they said, let's do some business with the bananas. Let's do some business with the bananas? <laughs> Okay, uh, monkey news this week. Um, <laughs> we've covered a lot of stuff. <laughs> we have indeed. Um, uh, now do you know, like, <sighs> there's places where you can go for, like, weekend rests and stuff, sure. and you can, you relax, you sit in a little spa, you might have a swim and yep. stuff. Mm. Well, they've got a place done for monkeys. Of course they have. Right? They can go there, they can they relax, forget about all the stuff they've got going on in their head. <laughs> they can have a manicure. <laughs> right. It's got nice meals. It's, it's not called a manicure, though, it's called a chimpacure. Beauty event. treatments. Yeah. Right? It's look good and stuff. Yeah, well, look good, feel good, yeah. Now, you might think, well, that's pretty normal. Well. The bit I haven't told you about <gasps> is it's actually run by a couple of chimps. <laughs> <laughs> Of course it's not! No, 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 it is, because think about it, right? <laughs> no, not think about it! What do you mean, yes it is? Of course it's not run by a couple of chimps! What do they do, get a loan? Right, if a chimp wants yeah. to have a rest... Yeah. Where would you go to? A place that's run by humans that don't, what, don't, they don't know what chimps' needs are. No! My point is this, how did they get it together? How did the two, what, two chimps, what, Mr and Mrs Chimp, went for a loan and said, I'll tell you what we need, a spa. I think, I think it started off quite simple, right? Just, uh, just, you know, basic, basic stuff. <laughs> well, they've expanded over time because it's become so popular. It's, it's gone mental down there. Sure. Go! <laughs> <laughs> no! I don't all know! About it. Now, the thing is, the problem is this, right? That isn't even the, the top and bottom of it, right? Oh, Christ. The I problem don't... is, 
it's been going on and on and on, right? It's been- it's been earning a lot of money and stuff, the monkeys are happy. The monkeys that go there are loving it, they're telling friends and stuff, they're <laughs> all coming to it. Now the- the problem is, it's this little, uh, little monkey, little man monkey and a little woman monkey, right? Yeah. They were sort of girlfriend and boyfriend. Sort of. <laughs> it's an open relationship, they can play around if they want. Well the problem is, they're not married, right? Oof. Now, Some trouble brewing. the lad monkey, fella monkey, um, he's getting quite old. Mm. And the problem is, because it's his name that's down on all the- all the Carl, stuff. Carl, all I, the forms. I, let him I finish! I'm getting scared now. Let him finish. It's his name on the business, and the problem is, is his missus is kind of like, what's gonna happen? Sure. What are you getting this, where away, are you getting this from? What Internet. Carl, I don't know where to start. No. This is the- this Carl, is just, the, uh, can we just hear the, the end? Oh, this is ridiculous. So, the problem is, the- 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 female girl, monkey is worried that the male monkey is gonna, gonna die happen, What's gonna happen with the happen? business? What's gonna happen? Of course. Right? Now- What do you mean, the business? The- the- the That is the business. It's a joke. Health Rick, spa. you're not listening. His name's on the form. <laughs> <laughs> the male monkey's <laughs> name, it's in I, his name. Uh, now the problem is, oh. the woman monkey has got some kids, but because they're not bro blood relatives, it's not gonna be handed down to them. And the court- they're, they're kids from a previous monkey marriage? Yeah. Right. Uh, so that, they're not gonna get it. Um, let me just check this out. Yeah, otherwise you don't wanna check the facts, otherwise yeah. you could look like a twat spouting shit on the radio. Please check the facts for scientific. Security. And they're, they're just a bit worried because they're saying that the people in Ohio, which is where they where they've got the the uh, the little health thing going on. So that makes it more believable that it's Ohio. Mm -hmm. um, I thought you meant it was Berkshire, in which it, case it would be rubbish. It looks like the local people are trying to get in there. They've seen the success of it, sure, and they're they trying to go in and take it over and stuff. Yeah. So give me the piece of paper straight away. Play record. That's the worst. That's the worst one I've ever heard. And you are, there's something wrong with you. You're educationally subnormal.